The fear of photographing something that millions of other people have photographed is probably very real for a lot of people. I really like the idea that you don't have to look very far to find interesting things to photograph. And I really like the idea of taking something very everyday and mundane and turning it into something interesting. Nikon has set me a challenge to elevate the everyday and they've asked me to take photographs of car parks. I thought, okay, what do car parks mean to me? And the first thing I thought about was there's something seedy, there's something cinematic, and that's what made me think I need to make something which gets people's imagination going. I haven't actually looked what's in here. I got it in a charity shop yesterday. Practice well first before you begin. I have a couple of props. I like the idea that this is like some kind of old car park where secret things could happen. I'm using a Aperture Priority F10. I've just started using this D750 and I found out that it has Wi-Fi and it has an app that I can use to take the photo. Because when you're shooting long exposures, you have to have a tripod, you have to make sure the camera doesn't move at all. And I'm gonna take a picture and see what happens. I'm pretty happy with that. I think very graphically when I'm photographing. So I'm always looking for strong lines and I'm always looking for compositions that will lead the viewer into the picture or give like a structure to the picture. Down here, we're in quite a big car park. There's a kind of foreboding sense about the place. I think that they're, they're heat exchangers on the wall but together with black spots on, on the floor and the, the lights on the ceiling, there's a totally kind of sci-fi feel to it. I knew that I had to deliver three or four final shots and I wanted those shots to tell a story. I'm really happy with the result. I think I've got exactly what I wanted to get. By limiting your choices, you learn how to become more involved in the thing that you're photographing and you get more excited about it. And usually there's something unexpected that happens and that's really part of the fun.